Alrighty, so here I am at the uh, old Modoc Wildlife Management Area. I'm about to drag my my lighter stand back to the woods. I'm trying to. This is my usual way of taking this bastard back there. Is uh, strapped onto that short sled. It's, it's a little something that makes it easier to drag. But I hate these lighter stands. Here it is. So I got it rigged up. Got a got a deer drag harness on. Carabiner. And I could probably a bunch of bungees on there. I could probably do this a little bit better, but. <laughs> That's how it's going to work for now. Yeah. It's going to snag on all this fucking, all these damn weeds. I'll end up with a bale of hay on the end of this. I'm not going too far this year. I, I went a good ways back here last year and regretted it. So. Yeah, see this is this is a little bit rough. Oh, I guess you're getting caught up on that heavy stuff. Yeah, this bullshit right here sucks ass. This stuff's taller in my head. Yeah. Snagging all the way down through here. Hey guys, uh, I'm back here where I want to put my tree stand up. I don't know if it's the best place there is or what. God, that was a devil bringing it back here too. I mean, a devil. I don't know how long it took me, but it wasn't pleasant. I lost a bungee cord. The whole thing. I I need to I need to come up with something better than this. At least, uh, I don't know, maybe drill some holes inside here and put some more, uh, I don't know, some way to, a little better to secure that shit to the sled or something. But this is where I've, this is where I've picked to put my stand at. I'm thinking either one of these three trees here. This one's got a little bit of a crook at the top. But I was thinking that branch might make a, a good, uh, maybe thing to hook a camera up to or hang shit from or whatever. I mean, it, it'd be right there at my head. I believe I'm gonna I'm a lean the ladder up against it and see, see how it turns out. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I'll check it out. And, but uh and the edge of the property is right there so and there's a game trail that runs a deer trail that runs across that ways a little ways um it'd be hard to get a shot at something right on it maybe i don't know i may do a little clearing today too for because i think uh it, you know it's not it's, i don't think it's too far i just uh there's a lot of brush right there but I've seen sign through here, so I, I know deer come through here. I don't know if it get, I've never seen it get uh, real, real, you know, uh, standing water here, but it looks like there's been standing water here. I don't know. I mean, it's obviously a low spot in the woods, so I'm sure it gets wet down through there, but. <sighs> Forgot to bring bug spray. That's another. God, miserable thing about this trip. This little task today. I'm getting bombarded, man. I mean, they're evil. Evil. Whew. I'm wanting to get this done. It's a real pretty spot, too. It'd be a nice place to sit. And as long as I'm not carrying too heavy of a load, like this bullshit today, it shouldn't take me long to get out here. I mean, I can literally stop out here after work and, and be out here. And 
traffic's a little I've seen a lot of deer hit right down this way too a lot of deer have got hit right literally through the through there and the, there's like a little bit of a dip and uh i come that way to and from that way from, from to and from work uh um you know every day for like 20 years and i I've seen a lot of deer come out of these woods uh, over the years and, and get hit, and I've had to dodge a few of myself. But um, my heat ladder stands. I'm just gonna set this up here though because it, it's a pretty quick way to. Uh, it's pretty quick for me to get back here. Like I said, something to do in the morning sometimes right after work if I got the energy come back here and fall asleep or something um, or if I don't feel like going too far on the weekends I mean on, on the weekends I'd normally hunt someplace else entirely probably than here Jesus fucking mosquitoes <sighs> gonna have me a little lunch too man that was, that was hard work getting back here um, I'll show you when I'm coming out of here. This looks like a nice little path or trail or whatever. Just up past this, uh, I'm gonna cut myself a little path out here too. So I ain't stepping on shit on the way in now. Um, it looks like a nice little path at first glance, but I tell you what, every damn step of the way is uneven. I mean, you may have one foot a foot or eight inches higher than the other one one in a hole and then you'll step on these ridges and then your foot will slip off it's like you're walking hobbled all the way down the damn thing made it hell bringing this thing back here too i already cleaned this off once it had it had clumps huge ass clumps of grass and shit on each one of these the whole thing fell apart five, five, six times on the way back here. There's a few times it was going sideways and all kinds of shit. Yeah, I gotta figure out a, a better way to do this. That or I, I'm giving up on bringing the damn ladder stand. I'll, I'll spend the money on another damn climber or something. I'm not. I hate. I hate this ladder stand. I hate it anyways. Like I said one trip to bring it back here and have a place to sit in, uh, on workday mornings but you know get me a climber and I'll have, I'll have that too without so much damn trouble uh, alright I'm going to shut this off and get busy with my work here talk to you guys later uh, there we go got the uh Tree stand up. It's. I need another compression strap for the top. I've got it all jacked up. Up there, it's real tight at the bottom and loose at the top because I fucked up the compression compression strap at the top. But, here's a little bit more of a look around. Kind of wish maybe I'd pick that bigger tree right in front, maybe. Give you guys a look from the top here in a minute. Yeah, there's a there's a uh, deer path that goes straight. Ah, damn the mosquitoes! Straight through this way. So, and I've seen. All right. Uh, got the ladder stand up and trim, the, trim this out a little bit here so I can get through without any noise and snagging on shit so much uh, I gotta get the hell out of here I'm starting to feel woozy from the 
loss of blood, man. Mosquitoes are tearing me up. Hopefully I'll have an easier way of getting back. Than I did coming out here. Oh, I think that's the last year for uh, a ladder stand. Oh, there's a cotter pin missing off of it, and uh, the bolt for the I've stripped out where the bolt goes in for the I don't know what the hell you call it tension bar or whatever. Uh, plus, I'm just tired of this bullshit. Hell with this. I'll spend the extra money on climbers, I guess. That's that's bullshit. Too much of a pain in the ass. I don't know how far. How far out? I know it's. I've only shit. I only maybe uh hold a third of the way this year that I did last year. Up at last year, I went up this way, down that way, back that way, back over, way over in some woods. You can't even see him from here. Way over in some woods back in there. Adrian came with me to retrieve that deer stand in February or whatever, March. I was actually supposed to have it out of here sooner than that, but. I've been sick for a while. There's one of my bungee cords I lost. Yeah. If you can see another one of the wind generators. I'm tore up from mosquitoes. I mean my, my face is like elephant man or something it feels like. Hey. If it ain't for mosquito bites, it's for me beating the hell out of myself trying to kill them. I mean, I was whacking this shit. I mean, what do you do, man? I'll tell you what you do. You bring some damn... You bring some damned, uh... Deed is what you do. But not me. I beat the hell out of myself. See, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. You can see through the grass a little bit. This looks like a lot nice little path at first glance, but... But this is what it's like underneath all the grass. Just, uh, holy crap, we had a big old spider. I think it's just a wolf spider, but it's all just lumpy, uneven bullshit. Oh, uh, why can't they just one for one, one year, bring a fucking grader down through here? Because I mean, literally every step, you can't see, too, because once you get up there, this is one of the few places where you can see, see the dirt, the actual dirt underneath all this grass. And you see, I mean, every step you take, your an ankle is, and you see, it's just constant ankle twisting all through this entire, at least here I can see, you know, I'm step, what I'm stepping on. You get up in this thicker grass, you don't know, and you're stepping in a hole with one foot and stepping on a hill with the other foot. I'll mow this. Uh, oh, damn near after the season's over. Halfway through the damn season, they'll come down through here with with uh, bush hogs or whatever. A lot of good that does you right now. Look at this. This shit is taller than my head. Jesus. It's like every, every, each step is going in a different direction and angle on this crap. I you can see where I mowed that down on the slide. I got it real tangled up right here. I had to cut it loose even. I whacked some of this down with machete. Somebody will appreciate my struggle today, I think. Oh, 
I don't even know what I'm gonna get. Pizza sub or taco talk this out or something when I get back back home. I'm hungry. I didn't I ended up not eating a lunch because uh brought a little something like tuna salad back here with me. But this is usually a swamp right through here. Thank God it's not right now. Uh, I brought tuna stuff to make tuna salad back here, just tuna salad sandwich back here, but man, the mosquitoes are pure hell, just pure hell, it's like non-stop swatting, Hot today too, it's supposed to be in up, up in the 80s. Oh, I can see them, but you know, I'm live right in the live right in the wind farm right now. They're everywhere down through here. It's supposed to be over 100 of them between Modoc and Lynn, where I work. When you drive down through here down 36 it's nothing but blinking red lights at night synchronized and uh you know i've it's really weird because i've i've been working in lynn and living in modoc for decades now and it's just really weird to see all that change the change this landscape Pretty surreal. There you can see right now, staying in one place, I can see three, four, five, six, seven, seven windmills, wind generators. It's, it's weird. And of course, uh, it's not gonna. Put my electric bill on I actually see an eight to one right there sticking up over the top. No, nine. I guess they're putting a lot of money into the county. The roads. The company that's been putting this in. I guess they're putting a lot of money into the, the county and roads and blah blah blah. So I guess that's a, a plus. Yeah. I'd rather it be coming off my electric bill, to be honest with you. See you guys later.